Hi everybody! Today I would like to talk about dancing and injuries. Many people ask me, how do you cope with injuries? First of all, it is important to differentiate between aches and pains, which are normal, and injuries. Why do I say that aches and pains are normal? If you dance, your body will feel stiff from time to time, especially in the morning, and the muscles will complain. The more intensely you dance, the stiffer you will feel in the morning. So it's important to understand your own body and dance accordingly. I follow the rule of 10. What do I mean by that? On a scale from 1 to 10, if I have aches and pains that rank from 1 to 5, I dance. If the pain is from 6 to 10, I take a rest. It is crucial that you understand your body and you follow what your body tells you. Aches and pains are your body telling you that you can dance or you absolutely need to take, an, a, pay, uh, to take a rest. Injuries though, that's another thing. So let's talk about ache and pain, aches and pains. Most dancers feel very grumpy in the morning before you start the class. Your body is stiff, uh, you, or at least I, when I looked at the bar and the center and jumps and points, is like climbing Mount Everest before I even start plié. So it is important to give your body a little bit of time to um, remove, not to remove the stiffness, I mean, to, to warm up your body and have your juices flowing. So that brings us to my first rule, warm up. That is very important, warm up. I use a thermal gel pack on my lower back at the beginning of the bar, in addition to excellent warm up dance wear. I also gently wrap my knees in ACE bandage. For me, this is essential for avoiding injuries. Always start the bar with your body prepared and this can be difficult. Maybe you got behind the schedule on your way to class. Maybe you have children who took all your attention. Maybe you had a bad night's sleep before and so on, so on. But no matter what, warm up. At the end of the day, I apply ice packs on my feet, especially on my metatarsals and my Achilles tendon, which helps a lot next day with the points work. So now let's talk about injuries. I divide injuries in two sections, in two groups. Injuries you can prevent and injuries you cannot prevent. From my first-hand experience, this is a type of injury that you can prevent. I was 16 still at the National Ballet School and out with friends. We were in a building with concrete floor and a long hallway. I wanted to impress the boys, so I did a series of grand jeté and at the end of the series, I tore my calf muscle. One year in therapy and a lot of pain, avoidable injury, and yep, I learned my lesson. Now, an example of unavoidable injury. If you are a dancer wanting to go into a career in dance, if you are a professional dancer already preventing, already uh, having a career, managing a career, stage career, or if you already finished your career, you know that injuries are part of the career. 
part of the profession. So now I'm going to talk about injuries you cannot prevent. With that in mind, let's take a look at one of the spectacular lifts from Romeo and Juliet. Here we have Diana Vishniva and Vladimir Shkliarov beautifully performing what we call the cannon. He is focused on her center of balance. She keeps her body activated and strong. It is a high risk lift. I performed this lift many times with my partner, but during one performance, he pushed me completely over his head. I felt my back crack, my legs went over, and I went down. There was nothing I could do to avoid this. Painful, dangerous, an accident. Luckily, my spine did not sustain serious damage, which allowed me to continue with my career. But I feel the pain even now in my spine, because the body never forgets a previous injury. During the pandemic, I started to dance again and I went to the doctor to have x-rays done to see if my body is in the shape to go and dance intensely again. So it is important that before you start dancing again, or if you continue with intense dancing, it is important to go to the doctor, has, have a series of x-rays. Another tip from me is drink a lot of water. It is very important to stay hydrated during exercising. And at the end of an intense class, cool down. So those are my major tips I can give you. Warm up, try to prevent injury, take care of your body, uh, apply ice packs to, to your feet, cool down, stay hydrated. So as always, if you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll be glad to answer to you to the best of my ability. Thank you for watching me and I'll see you next time.